assemble our residents, our neighbors, our friends, our family um, on an issue that's really important to us all. When I first ran eight years ago for the first ward seat, I said to everybody that I would um, chain myself to this building if anyone tried to raise rents or tried to uh, eliminate the pilot. Over the last couple of years, working with uh, the mayor, working with the state and federal um, uh, authorities, uh, we were able to maintain and extend the pilot for an additional four years. Uh, the language in the pilot is quite cryptic. Uh, but the city has committed and has stood by uh, Marine View 1 and 2 uh, consistently on this issue. What my fear here is, is that with the pilot ending in the next few years, uh, with the tra transition of power between me and the next First Ward Council person, um, I fear that the buildings are going to come under a great deal of scrutiny from the landlord. And that's where we, as a community, not as politicians, not as candidates, but us as neighbors <coughs> need to all stand together because without that, we're going to lose the affordable middle class that has built this community. Right. We have teachers, we have firefighters, we have senior citizens, we have young families that are trying to establish themselves in Hoboken. And I will tell you something, the rent's too damn high across the city. Mm -hmm. Not the least of which is Marine View is the last bastion of the middle class in Hoboken. So this is why I am super concerned about this action right before an election. And I hope it means something coming from me after having the privilege of serving you guys for eight years that I'm standing here to tell you that this is not a fake. This is not some sort of election tactic as, as Denise is putting out there. And Denise was a former supporter of mine. At the end of the day, this is a move towards eliminating the middle class in Hoboken. And I have nothing to gain. I am not supporting a candidate in this race. I am not endorsing a candidate in this race. But what I am doing is standing up for Marine View, which is what I will always do, because that's what I promised you all when I first knocked on your doors, when I asked for your support. So earnestly, we need to talk to all of our neighbors within Marine View, all around Hudson Street, to make sure that we come together to make sure that uh, affordability sustains itself. And I promise you this as well. I'm not going anywhere. Although I'm not going to represent you on the, the council in the new year, I'm still your neighbor and I'll still be actively involved. So you have my access to me and I will have access uh, to whoever our next representative is at, at as well. So I hope that means something. Um, I'll toss it back to, uh, to Rafi who has extensive experience on the rent control board as, as its leader. Um, and uh, we'll take questions after that, I guess. Yeah, and that's what I want you to realize. If you look around, there, I have no posters, I have no cards, I'm not campaigning here tonight, uh, today. I'm just saying, this is what we need, and this is what we need. That's the Lados Giant poster? Well, I guess I don't have it. That's her house. She can do whatever That's she wants. I guess I, I'm just saying he has no posters. Can we agree to him? be all together about this? Because if we divide ourselves, we're never going to make it. We need to come together. This is what we need to we need, right? Yes. This is the first we thing you said. They cannot hands. raise it this year. Denise. They cannot. Yes. He said that. Denise. You didn't finish speaking. All it's right. not your turn. Step right. back. I will get a turn. Step back. Step back. I will get a turn if and my please. voice matters. I didn't say shit. Please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Come on. Enough, enough. Are you being paid by the opposition? Yes. Yes. And that is why I don't hear about the rent. I don't say the type of person that the school support. Well, but he is the type of person that supports somebody like you that would fight with us. We want it. This is a thing that should bring us together. It should bring us together. And that's what we're trying. But the to first, do. the first rule is that <laughs> this is yeah. this is not legal because the building did not apply for it okay, with the let state. Me say okay. What you let need me is a negotiator that's going to do that. We already excuse have that. Me. We already have yeah. that. Excuse We're me. Let me say something. Can you please be no, quiet? No, you didn't let me. No, you be quiet. Be quiet. I would like Listen. to speak. No, you can't. You can't shut down a rally. You don't have the right to shut down a rally. This was a right to uh, free speech. I don't know. Yeah. Do yes, I not have the right to free speech? Excuse me. It's a rally. He's speaking. Then you can speak. Right. So why are you getting this to be in This is why this person is very aggressive campaigning in the building. She's jumping up and down. Why are you getting to be in the building? This is very aggressive campaigning in the building. She jumps at you and you got to support Paul. I dealt with her one day. I want to get to the end. Go, so you got started. I think Denise would like to share her thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. All right, first of all, a red. Excuse me, wait. 
your turn, Beast. Let, who let, gave let, you let, turn? I don't listen. know why you gave me a turn. No, no, Mike no, DeFusco no, gave me a turn. Let her speak because she's not going to stop. You know, yeah. as long as we keep this apolitical, I think everyone in, is entitled to their opinion, and you know, and, and we kick it over to, to Denise. Good. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. So the first thing Mr. Rogovas pointed out is that it's illegal for the buildings to raise our rent by nine and a half percent this year. Illegal for the state of New Jersey. We are on a 3% cap right now, and we are still under a state program. Our letters must contain the CPI index statement regarding raising the rent, okay? It cannot be raised. We are all together. What we don't want is politicians coming in That's at right. the last minute, coming in and telling us, oh, we have to help you. We have to support you. No, we are covered by the state. The rent increase is completely illegal for 2024. The building did not apply for it. It has to be applied. Our apartments have to be fixed. They have to approve anything more than 3%. That is the law, okay? So being told, yes, the management, is this real? Yes. Is it signed by Marie View anywhere? No. Does it have Marie View letterhead? No. Does it actually have the tenant's real name on the sticker on top? It has my name on the top yeah, of mine. It does not have. It does. It does. It does. Yes, it does. Wait, does everybody here, does it have your name and address and right. apartment number? Right. Yes. Okay. Not everyone. Yes. Not everyone. Yes. Not everyone. Unless you put them on, Eileen, I would say no. Well, you block your I account. went to the office and I asked so the did I. So did I. I'm not saying that it's for them. I'm saying it does not say the lady house I'm saying it's not. Jenny, I have every single one that oh, can you bring that. us? Can you bring us any other one? We're all dying to see any other one. May I ask a question? Oh, please. Yeah. They're all the same. They're all exactly the same as that one. This is the one you get every year without the CPI index? No, no. no. I said that to them. And I said it doesn't have the state statue on it. Yes. And when I contact the city, I said to the city, it does not have the state statue. <laughs> Is this legal? And that's when they started contacting the city, I'm sorry, the state, mm -hmm. all the way up to the governor's yeah, office. I did the same thing, yes. And they contacted EFM in New York. So yep. they have been doing their due diligence. And it will be ratified without Mr. Cordova winning his position in office. It will be either way, you do not get a raise of 9.5% this year. Well, we by, will Wednesday, find out. by Wednesday, we will find out. But Wednesday yes. just happens to be after the election. May I ask the my... real issue, may I say something? The real issue is that Paul is expiring on this. We're going to have to deal with going on the rent control at some point. I put out a letter two years ago. I thought it expired in 2024. I have a feeling they may argue in court that it did expire yeah, in, in 2024. They say now it's 2025 and there's a two-year extension to 2027. But we have to have a tenant advocate fighting for us in Marine View. I was in the first tenant's union in 1978. And they raised our rate from 360 a month to 390, and 20 people got together. We put up 100 bucks a piece, and we fought it. We won the case, and now my rent is now 100 or more dollars every month cheaper than anyone else in my. I have two bedrooms on the corner for 1,384 dollars. I have the cheapest rent in the building because I joined the union when most people couldn't be bothered. And we need to have a tenant advocate and have a union in this building. You can, you can, I, I, I can stand here. You can stand here. Yeah. Uh, uh, Terry, okay. would you like to say something? I would like to say a lot of Come things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think many people want to hear. First of all, we got a guy here who wants to be the negotiator. We all kind of agree now. It's a legal thing. It's this and that. But we got. We need to be. We need somebody that's going to negotiate on our behalf. It can't be like ten people. It's got to be somebody. And I don't want to make this political, but the next person, whoever that is, council person, should be the person. I did it for 20 years. I was in and out of court with you guys. We had a 30 percent increase. We had a 15 percent increase, and we were in court. Mourinho has a history of not doing things the right way. We went to court many times and we won because they didn't notice the people the right way. And it, after so many years, I guess, they didn't learn anything. They think they could just do this. Right. If you Google we'll Efren, his name comes across oh. in how many case, oh. court cases? Not political at all. 
Oh. It's like his name is okay. splattered all and over. Let me tell you, they have to, they have to high priced lawyers. Yeah, then I know. Which are presenting them. Got, we're in court, and Ephraim so just so blows the whole case. A, 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 a slumlord. He blows the whole case. It just speaks for itself. But besides that, this is, a, this is an issue that should be bringing us together. But not, it should not be a political issue. It's a neighborhood issue. It's a neighbor issue. It is, uh, you know, it is close to my heart. I, I did this for 20 years on behalf of you guys, and I will just, you know, we will just do what we can. And we believe me, if this in numbers and in people, you know that numbers speak. So, uh, you know, I don't know what else to say, but I think you can see a conglomeration of a lot of uh, different factions here, and it, you know, it, it warms my heart to see the people here. And, we will do what we do. We'll fight. <laughs> and, and, and one thing I want to say in respect to this, I could have had the meeting set for Monday. And it could have been a wonderful thing, an election thing. I didn't want that to be the case. That's why the meeting is going to be on Wednesday after the election. I didn't want it to be construed as something that I was doing to get, uh, garner votes. That is why it's on Wednesday. The election is on Tuesday. The meeting could have been Monday. Could have been today. the day before, could have been today, could have been any time before the election. I chose to do it after so that it wouldn't be seen as that. I am here. If I don't win, I hope I win. I hope I get people's support. But if I don't win, I'll be there on, on, on Wednesday helping people. And uh, now I want to let Councilman Quintero wants to say a few words. This is not political though, right? So let me, okay, go ahead, one thing. you have to put your faith in a person who can put his foot in your shoes. There are people who cannot do that. So I can. You won't have no, you can't, evidently, because I, I you need people who can put, who can I know understand, who can understand your plight. There are certain people who cannot. Murphy is one of those all people all who can. All of yeah. all of you. If that's who you want, a trust, when Rick Patrol okay. was <laughs> First of all, okay, thank you. Denise, thank you very much. Okay, and I thank appreciate, you, I appreciate oh, you staying there. I get to see it here, Joe. I okay, get to you, see it here. You stay in there all day long. Okay. Great. So, so, first of all, my name is Joe Quintero. I'm a councilman in town. I'm a councilman at large. So, I am your council person, okay? So, why are we here? Because we speak for you. We're your representatives. When there's injustices, we are here to stand up for you. It doesn't matter what sections of town we live in, because this issue is bigger than Marine View, right? This is about housing justice. We talk about, uh, you know, our homes and them being sacred. One of the most important things is that you have stability and that you're able to plan for your future. It doesn't matter whether you're a homeowner or whether you're a renter, that you have that stability that you can count on. You know how much you're going to pay this year versus next year. Versus next. That helps you plan. It helps you figure out how you're going to raise your family. So when they go and they try to pull a move, like raising rents nine and a half percent, that's outrageous. That issue is bigger than Marine View. It's bigger than the First Ward. It's a Hoboken issue. Uh, Councilman DePusco said himself, the rents are too damn high. That's true. If they continue this way, the middle class in Hoboken is wiped out for sure. So what is today about? As, as Rafi said, and I appreciate him putting this together because he truly has been a uniter. We have people come together over the past few months who were political enemies before. Now we hug when we say hello. It, it's crazy. It's, I'm living in like the upside down, but I love it, right? I love it because he's exposed me to, to the people who I otherwise would have never uh, been in the room with. And now we have collab more collaborative discussions. So what's today about? Today's about us coming together as a community to fight this injustice. Should we sit here and wait for the process to go through and maybe some judge somewhere will decide that this thing's all right after you've already been paying 10% and then you gotta get refunds? No, the notice came out yesterday. We confirmed that it was real. Ownership said it was real. So we take action now. We don't wait, we take action now. 
we tell them this is bullshit. We're not doing, we're not waiting for an administrative process to go through. We say this is unacceptable. We do it together, regardless of who you support. We do this together because if we don't, if we don't stop it now, it's gonna go to the other buildings. And we have a bigger problem. And then our police, and then our teachers, and then, and then our firefighters can't afford to live here in town. So today is when we stand up and say enough's enough. We're not dealing with this bullshit. Move it back, raise rents at a reasonable rate. We all agree, costs go up. We understand that. Nobody's saying it should never go up, but nine and a half percent, please. So thank you, Rafi. Rafi is the, the expert on these rent issues, so please ask him questions. I'm sure he can answer whatever you need. And I wanna say something that is even more important to me, and I, I am running to represent you, but I am being very, very selfish because in this group right here, right now, I see faces of people that I love, of people that have that I support, of people that I it would it would kill me to see disperse because we're a community over there. Diane has known me from when I cut my hair with Joe years and years ago. And, and, and the Spanos are close to my heart. I mean, everybody in this building, Jerry, who makes me laugh with her stories at Symposia. I mean, we would lose that. We would lose each other if this continues because who can afford thousands and thousands of dollars in rent? You don't realize you live in, a, in, in the prime location. Everybody wants this. We're by the water, we're by the path. We're, by, we're in the middle, in, in the best place in Hoboken. And you think that people don't want to take that? Mm -hmm. That is the problem. We have, if we don't come together, if we don't do something soon, we're not going to have each other. You're not going to wake up in the morning with your dogs and go walk them and say hello to the same people and have people have your backs like we have now. So this is why this is so important. We cannot lose track. We have 30 days. If you start paying those rents in January, it is like saying it's okay to do it. So we have the month of December. I know it's really tricky because everybody's thinking of Christmas. Everybody's thinking of other things. We need to get together. I'm going to get a petition written. We're going to sign it. It's part of what the lawyers have told me to do. I'm going to... I promise I wouldn't be bothering anybody door knocking anymore but I'm gonna have to because it's important and uh, we're gonna everybody's gonna sign that <coughs> and we're gonna be together we're gonna show the force of Marine View together both buildings not just this building not just that building everybody do you have to say something else and that's the timing that's the most curious it's not because of an election it's because there's a transition of power in the first ward seat and it's the holidays mm -hmm. So they're hoping, the landlords are hoping that you, we'll all get tripped up between the special election and the holidays coming up, and then all of a sudden people will start writing rent checks in the new year. So I just warn everybody to please watch out for like these electoral tactics of, oh, this isn't going to happen. Oh, this is for the election. This is because the landlords know exactly what's going on politically, and they know exactly what's happening with the holidays. So let's be smart, let's stay together on this. I don't know if you want to let, uh, yeah. Yesterday I was fighting all day long just to get people to believe that this was real. Because they were saying it was a fake that I was doing this to get to get votes. It is real people. And uh, please know that this uh, Councilman Cohen wants to say a couple words. So hi, I'm, I'm Councilman Phil Cohen. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here to listen to Rafi and his message. This is not political, right, Mr. Cohen? Excuse not me. political, the right? By the way, she opposed my election and I won. Anyway. <laughs> so, so here's something important that I want to say. When rents went up uptown, when rents went uptown, when people at the Harlow told me they were going up 30%, 20%, when people in the artisan buildings controlled by Bazooka, we're telling me rents are going up 20%, 25%. They reached out to me, they said, Phil, what can we do about this? This is illegal rent increases, right? These are illegal rent increases. What can we do? So they said to me, Phil, what can we do? I reached out to City Hall. I reached out to Mayor Bala. I reached out to the Corporation Council's office. We wrote strongly, when I say we, the city wrote strongly worded letters to Bazuda 
Amir Bala personally called Toby Bizzuto, who's based in Texas, who is the head of the Bizzuto Group, and told him that if you want to do business in Hoboken, you need to comply with the law. Okay? The rents for the people in the Harlow, when they got 30, 35% rent hikes, are now getting 5% rent hikes. The people who lived in Bizzuto, who are getting 20, 25% rent hikes, who are getting 10. Now, I know 10 doesn't sound good to you right now, but I'm not saying what's happening here is legal. I'm saying if it is not legal, Rafi, as your councilman, will be able to work with Mayor Bala hand in glove the way I worked hand in glove with the city to get legal pressure on these developers to make them fear. They did not want to be blamed and shamed. They did not want to be named. That's what we did. Ask the people who live at the Rivington what Councilman Cohen and Mayor Bala did for them. Ask the people who live in the Artisan Building. Ask the people in the Harlow. What did we do for them? They're still living there. They're still raising their families there. Mom, who had a kid who was supposed to go to the Wallace School, kindergarten, called me in tears. Is my kid going to be able to go to school in the fall? I don't know. Do, do I have to move? I cannot afford this rent hike. That woman's kids are going to the Wallace School right now, okay? The kid who was three years old is in pre-K, is in kindergarten, the other one's in second grade. She's very appreciative for the work that we did. That's all there for you. Now the city's gonna help you no matter what, but you want an advocate who's gonna fight for you, whose heart is there for you every single day. You know Rafi's heart. You know what he cares about. He cares about seniors, he cares about people who need help. That's what he does. He's done it for 20 years. He did it before he was running for office. He's gonna do it after he wins or loses because that's who Rafi is. But if, he were, if I were you, this is the guy that I want representing me. Good luck, Rob. Hey. And then, and then, I just want to point out that, thank you, that two buildings, there's the Avalon building and the Jordan building, they started doing exactly what Marine View did. We got them on the rent board, we saw their papers, they did not meet the requirements, like the requirements have not been met here, and we put them under, under rent control immediately. Here, they would have to abide by the pilot. And I've said, I said the letter that everybody can, was able to see that there are three choices. There is either this pilot that gets an extension, that got an extension. There is the possibility of a new one to apply for a brand new one, or it goes under rent control. Neither one of which your administration of the building seems to, to want. <laughs> they want to be able to bring it up to market as fast as possible. So now, uh, I just want to leave you today. I want to thank you for being here because I know it's like everybody has things to do on Saturdays. And thank you for being here. I'm going to be coming around with a petition on Wednesday. So it's after the election. <laughs> Win or lose, I'll be there at your door. Thank you for being here. And remember, we have to stay together. If we start listening to this person, to that person, to the other person, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rafi. Thank you, Rafi. If anybody has any questions, you can come to me, and I'll be here. On